This is Kyle, and he's our awesome youth leader. And this is Brandon. <clears throat> Hello? This is Brandon. Yeah, that's Brandon. And together, Kyle and Brandon rule this youth group. Then one day, Kyle hosted a party for Brandon. Brandon introduced his family, and then the party guests arrived. While the party was still going on, Robin went upstairs to change Eli's diaper. As the party went on, a very strange mariachi entered. He sat himself down and started playing for everyone. Although he wasn't planning for a mariachi, Kyle let him stay because the guests were enjoying him. Everyone fell asleep because of the beautiful mariachis playing, but suddenly Robin came down screaming and woke up Kyle and Brandon and told them that a thief had stolen a bunch of the valuables while she had been changing Eli's diaper upstairs. A policeman came to look for clues and found tire tracks, so he went to go tell Kyle all the information he had found. And while he was still doing that, <laughs> Eli found something and was playing with it. So Robin took it and she handed it to Kyle so he and the cop could examine it. And guess what it was? A guitar pick, most likely used by the mariachi himself. Kyle called the police to see if they had uncovered any more, and they said there was a glass that had a print of a wanted thief on it, and they had found a handkerchief with the initials EQ on it. After the police told him everything, Kyle demanded that they let him and Brandon find the thieves, and they allowed it, but they had to be suited up for battle. The police found out for Brandon and Kyle that the robbers were living in an abandoned shack off the highway. The thugs didn't know that Kyle and Brandon were coming after them until they heard a car door slam. Then they scrammed, just in case. Kyle and Brandon crept up to the house, trying not to make a sound. But the thugs knew they were there and zoomed off. Brandon and Kyle finally caught up with the thieves, and when they saw they were caught, they surrendered. Kyle threw his gun into the barrel, got the handcuffs, and handcuffed them up. Kyle asked which one of them was El Queso. The one with the brown hat stepped forward and said his name was El Queso, and that he was a very wanted thief. And then Kyle asked what the other one's name was. He said his name was Stubby Finger Ben, and that he wasn't a very wanted thief, but he was still a thief. As Kyle was about to call the police, another car pulled up and said, Stick him up. Kyle knew it was one of the gang. El Queso and Sticky Finger Ben were about to get on their bikes when the police pulled up and told 
the robber to drop his weapon. Brandon and Kyle were saved and the bad guys were going to jail. Brandon, Kyle, and the policeman sat relieved in the police station. Brandon asked the background of the thugs and the policeman said that El Queso was a real mariachi. Sticky Finger Ben was a 30-year-old preacher or something that retired to being a gang member. And the mystery gang boss was none other than Bad Cop in Disguise. He retired from acting but pursued an evil career. And finally, two of the most wanted thieves and one other robber were all put in jail right where they belonged. And I think they learned their lesson. As for Kyle and Brandon, I think they had an adventure they'll never forget. And they're getting a little more emotional in their old days, don't you think?